10 objects O1, O2, O3 till O10 were distributed among Amar, Bharat, Charles, Disha and Elise. So 5 people, 10 objects. Each item went to exactly one person. Each person got exactly two of the items. And this pair of objects is called her or his bundle. So if Elise gets O2 and O7, O2 and O7 is Elise's bundle. The following table shows how each person values each object. Numbers going from 4 to 10, there's also a 3 sitting here. Nice. But I don't, we can't really make sense of this. So we need to read more before we draw any conclusion. The value of any bundle by a person is the sum of that person's values of the objects in that bundle. Nice. A person X envies another person Y. If X values Y's bundle more than X's own bundle. Remember, a person X envies another person Y. If X values Y's bundle more than X's own bundle. For example, hypothetically, suppose Amar's bundle consists O1 and O2 and Bharat's bundle O3 and O4. Amar has this. Oops. Amar has O1 and O2. Bharat has O3 and O2. Right. Let's do this. Then Amar values his own bundle at 4 plus 9, 13 and Bharat's bundle is 12. Hence, Amar does not envy Bharat. On the other hand, Bharat values his own bundle at 7 plus 5, 12 and Amar's bundle at 9 plus 5, 14. Nice. Bharat values his bundle at 12 and Amar's bundle at 14. So, we we'll have to think about Bharat valuing Amar's bundle. So Bharat does not see these numbers. Bharat can see only these numbers. Bharat knows Amar has got O1 and O2. He doesn't think of it in terms of how much Amar values is. Bharat will say, okay, O1 and O2, the bug has got 14, I've got only 12. Oh my God, this is so sad. This is, this is not good. And so, interesting. So, Bharat envies Amar. Amar does not envy Bharat. The following facts are known about the actual distribution. So, technically speaking, there could be a P and Q who both envy each other, who both do not envy each other as well, depending on how the numbers are. Or one envies the other. The following facts are known about actual distribution of the object. If someone's value for an object is 10, then she, he received that object. Nice. Objects O1, O2 and O3 were given to three different people. Nice. O1 and O8 were given to different people. Nice. Three people value their own bundles at 16. No one values her, his own bundle at a number higher than 16. Three of them have got 16. Nobody has got higher than 16. Disha values her own bundle at an odd number. All others value their own bundles at an even number. So, there's 16, 16, 16 and probably a 14 or a 12 or a 10, an even number. And then Disha values it at an odd number. Some people who value their own bundles less than 16 envy some other people who value their own bundle at 16. No one else envies others. So the, the one constraint that I come from out, let slip is this. It's absolutely brilliant, delightful thing. They just slipped it in. Then no one envies anyone else. So the power sitting there is someone, some people who envy, it seems like some people who value their own bundles at less than 16, envy some people who value their own bundle at 16. Less than 16, envy someone equal to 16. No one envies, no one else envies anyone. This is brilliant because someone whose bundle is valued at 16 does not value someone else's bundle at 16. Someone whose bundle is valued at 16 does not value anyone else. And someone whose bundle is valued at less than 16 does not envy someone else whose value is also less than 16. Less than 16 envies 16. Some, few. That's not the bazooka. The bazooka, someone at, six, at 16 doesn't envy anyone else. A less than 16 does not envy another less than 16. That is the thing. Not, not some envy. That no one else envies other. That is a big trick. Right? Lovely. Let's go step by step by step. Uh, of, uh, someone's value for an object is 10, then he, she, she, he received that object. Fine, nice. 10, 10. Nobody gets more than uh, uh, 16. Three people value their own bundles at 16. No one values his, her, his own bundle at a number higher than 16. This is 10. I should say uh, Bharat has an even number. It should be 10, 6, 10, 8. So 8 and 8 are out. It must be this. 10 plus 6, 16. Technically speaking, Bharat could have had an odd number, the rest being even number, and then there being 10, 
So, three people value their bundles at 16. Disha values her own thing as an odd number. All others value their own bundles at an even number. So, 10 plus 6, 16. Whereas for this 10, this can't be 8. There is a 6 here, a 6 here and a 6 here to take it to 16. If someone's value is 10, then he she received that object. O1, O2 and O3 were given to different people. O1 and O8 were given to different people. They don't contribute much. Three people value their own bundles at 16. No one values her his own bundle at a number higher than 16. Disha values at an odd number. Everyone else has an even number. Fine. Nice. So it is likely that these two are there. And it's likely that this 10 is paired with another 6. Which should be either this or this. Not this definitely. Fine. Lovely. Now, Amar values Bharat's bundle at 17. Very interesting. 8 plus 9 is 17. Now, if Bharat has got 16 and Amar values Bharat bundle at 17, then Bharat, Amar could not have got 16. This is super useful for us because if Amar did not get 16, that means Bharat, Charles and Elise got 16, which is nice, wonderful. This, is, this hands it on a, on a platter to us. Amar got 8 plus 9. Amar will value Bharat's bundle at 17. That is definitely higher than what Amar will end up for himself because nobody has got more than 16. So Bharat, Amar will envy Bharat. That means Amar has not got 16. Three people have got 16. Disha has not got 16. Amar has not uh, got 16. That means Bharat, Charles and Elise should have got 16. Brilliant. Because this, this 10 plus 6 tells us that Amar could not have got uh, 16. That means the other three, Bharat, Charles and Elise have got 16. That means Elise should have got go with either this or this, one of these two. And then we'll make some inferences about Charles. Okay. Wonderful. Now Charles has got 16. Charles has not got a 10. He could have got two eights and nothing else. Eight and six, eight and four, they don't work. He should have got two eights. That means he should have got there's an 8 here, 8 here, 8 here. 2 out of these 4 8s, O1, O2, O3 go to different people. So he couldn't have got O1 and O2, he couldn't have got O1 and O3. O1 and O8 go to different people. So O1 is out. O2 and O3 go to different people. That means Charles has got O8 and one of these two. Nice, wonderful. Charles has got O8 and one of these two. He couldn't have got O2 and O3. He couldn't have got O1 and anything else. So O8 and O2 and O3. Nice, brilliant. So far, so good. So now let's look at Charles's value. Charles valued at 16. Bharat has a number 9 and 7 here and 8 here. So if you think about how Bharat values Charles's bundle, Bharat will value Charles's bundle as 8 plus 7 or 8 plus 9. If Bharat values Charles's bundle at 8 plus 9, 17, Bharat will envy Charles, which is not possible because Bharat has got 16. He doesn't envy anyone who's got 16 or anyone else for that matter, which means Charles cannot have got O2. Because if Charles gets O2, Bharat will end up envying Charles. That means Charles has got O3. So I mean, for a 2 for Bharat, 2 for Charles, life is good. Let's, let's dig deeper into this. Disha has got an odd number. I mean, Amar has got an even number. Right? Amar has not got anything here. These are all taken. Right? Amar's total should add up to an even number. Disha's should add up to an odd number. Amar's total should be an even number less than 16. That means Amar should have got he could not have got O1. Should have got two out of O2, O4, O5, O6. There are four odd numbers, one even number. Okay. So Amar O1 is out. Elise has got 10. This adds up to 16. Should have got either this or this. Nice. Disha, her total should add up to an odd number. So one, there is eight and eight. These two are remaining. Five, five, three are remaining. 
that means you should have got one of these two and one of these three even number plus odd number that's what the shirt should have got now there are, there are multiple combinations for amar two out of these four multiple for disha at least it is clear either this six or this six so let's break it into two parts and give one of the sixes to elise in each part and then build from there put the six here put the six here nice so let's think about it disha's total adds up to an odd number so she should have got one of these and eight so this eight goes in automatically nice this is six amar has not got o1 that means disha should have got o1 everyone else is taken disha has got o1 she could not have got o2 also so has to add up to an even number then disha total should be an odd number that means amar should have got this and so if you put 10 and 6 this 8 fills itself if you put 10 and 6 here this 8 and this 9 fill themselves nice so let's build on this right now what can we infer amar has got one of these three bharat has filled charles has filled elise has filled disha has got not one of these three one of these two this and this are remaining this and this are remaining let's go to this one and then think about what are the possibilities amar should have got two out of these three and disha should get the other wonderful so two out of the three so it could be 3 and 7 3 and 3 7 and 3 the remaining will go here so disha should be 8 plus 5 8 plus 5 or 8 plus 3 nice so now let's think about amar score amar score will be 3 plus 7 3 plus 7 or 3 plus 3 either 10 or 6 Now let's think about how Amar values Disha, because Amar could envy any or all of B, C, E. That doesn't matter. Amar shouldn't envy Disha. A sub-16 will not envy a sub-16. And Amar values Disha's O2 at nine. So he will value Disha's bundle at nine plus five, nine plus five, or nine plus three. Minimum twelve. The maximum Amar can add up to is ten. So, if this combination were present, no matter which two we choose, Amar's perceived value of Disha's bundle will be nine plus three minimum twelve, whereas his own can be maximum three plus seven ten. So, Amar will envy Disha, which is not possible. So, this is out. Now we come back to this. One of these is with Amar, one of these with Disha. That is so much easier. Let's narrow down on that. So if Amar could have got this, and Disha could have got this, or the other way around, and if Amar gets this, his total is nine plus three, twelve. Disha's total is eight plus three, eleven. Amar values Disha's at eight plus five. Sorry, Amar values Disha's at four plus three, seven, which is fine. Disha values Amar's at eight plus five, thirteen. This is a problem. If this were the scenario, Disha would value Amar's bundle at eight plus five thirteen, whereas her own bundle only adds up to eleven. That's not possible. In which case, Disha will say, "Okay, my value is eleven, but I can see that Amar is getting thirteen because he's got O two and O four. I look at O two plus O four, that adds up to thirteen, whereas I have got myself only a eleven. There's an issue there. Therefore, this scenario is not possible." So let's see if this one works. Amar values his at twelve. Disha values hers at thirteen. Amar looks at Disha's and says her value is four plus three, only seven. Disha looks at Amar's and says his value is eight plus three, only eleven. Whereas I'm at thirteen, therefore better. This satisfies all condition. No guy with a score of sixteen envies anyone else. No one with sub sixteen anyone envies anyone who's sub sixteen. Some sub sixteen NV, some sixteens, which is all right. So this is the possibility that we're going to end up with. Now we know that Amar has got O two, and we just check O two and O six. Disha has got O one and O four. Eight plus five valued at nine plus three, which is completely fine, and nine plus three valued at. Eight plus five valued at four plus three, which is also completely fine. Now we have got the whole grid filled out. 
we can answer questions from here. What best can be said about object 8? Object 8 was given to Charles. O8 was given to Charles. The right answer. Nice and simple. Once you've got the whole grid, you should be straightforward. Who among the following envies someone else? Only Amar or Disha could envy. Now the three won't envy. Disha is not there in the choices. Amar had done. He must envy somebody. You can look at uh, what Bharat gets. He's going to value Bharat's gift at bundle at 17. Therefore, he'll envy Bharat. What is Amar's value of his own bundle? 9 plus 3, 12. Object 04 was given to Disha. Done. Object 05 was given to Elise. B. Done. What best can be said about distribution of object 01? 01 was given to Disha. Only Disha. Only one possibility. Done. 